Today's Bible study is titled For Ye Have Heard. Paul has just addressed the some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ and pronounced, let him be accursed upon Jewish kingdom teachers not following the Acts 15 accord and preaching this another gospel to Gentiles. Paul now begins a discussion regarding his unique calling from the risen and ascended Lord Jesus Christ. In this discussion, he will point out this calling slash message to be one that is not concerned with the instructions or thoughts of men. And the story of Saul the persecutor, who became Paul the apostle, was well known as Paul noted, For ye have heard. For do I now persuade men, or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in mine own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. Galatians 1 verses 10 to 14 KJV Let's break this down. Regarding another gospel and the some that trouble you, Paul notes that this must have been a message that pleased men. And in this regard, he notes, For do I now persuade men, or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. If Paul would have compromised his message and gotten along with these who wanted who wanted a blended gospel, example, essentially agreeing to preach the gospel of the kingdom or a mixture with the gospel Paul preached, he would not have had near the trouble with those critical of his ministry and message. But he was having none of that for pleasing men was not his calling, or ours. Instead, Paul here begins a history lesson and offers certification regarding the message he received of the risen-slash-glorified Lord Jesus Christ. In Paul's history, we know of his encounter on the road to Damascus and how, contrary to what might have seemed logical, he afterwards did not go to Jerusalem to find out from the twelve what to do or say, Galatians L. 16-17. To emphasize this, Paul states, But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Later, Paul pairs this with the statement, Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. Galatians 1 verse 20 Essentially, Paul is saying that the gospel Christ called and instructed him to preach had nothing to do with that being preached of men, the twelve and the little flock, rather it was something new given directly by the risen, ascended, glorified, and seated Lord Jesus Christ from heavenly places. Here we see that Paul begins to develop his case before the Galatian believers, reaffirming his special apostleship and the special revelation he was given to share with the Gentiles, and, after Israel's conclusion and unbelief, the Jews as well. That this revelation to Paul is not what he would have been instructed by the twelve to teach, had he gone there for instruction, is obvious. And, once again, the student of the word will ask why. Paul continues, For those that were leaning towards law, stating, For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God, and wasted it, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in mine own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. So, if any would question what a mixing of law and grace would hurt, Paul shows that the two are incompatible, based on his own experience as a Jew of Jews. The bottom line in all of this is that the kingdom gospel and the mystery gospel of the grace of God are completely different. For the revelation of the mystery and the associated gospel of simple belief in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, by grace through faith, cannot coexist with the gospel of the kingdom, as revelation of the former depends on the failure of Israel to accept the latter, and Paul is trying to show the Galatian believers just how important it is that they understand this, and he's just getting started as we'll see in our next installment. Believer, understand that the gospel of the grace of God is the only one by which we are saved in this dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.